Hello guys, Linux Matt 7 here, or Matt's Linux, and I'm back with part 2 of how to install Arc Linux. Now, after we have installed the base system, now we're going to install Grub and or, or I'm sorry, or Lilo as in Sys Linux. I will be installing Grub, however, I will include links in the description on how to install Lilo slash Sys Linux. So we're going to type packstrap m and slash m and t grub bios. Let's go ahead. It's going to go ahead and sync the package databases or repositories. And after that, it is going to download and install the grub. I will pause the video and be back when this is complete. Okay, guys, I am back. And now we're going to generate an fstab file. So after that, you should get something like this. And as you can see that cat command, went ahead and did the configure configuration that way so I can look at it and now as you can see down here we are going to add the device that is used for a swap We're gonna going to save and exit. In this case, it already has it there for me. And now we are going to cruit into the system. Now to make sure that I'm not mistaken on this, I'm going to type CF disk. Going to quit that. Hold on here. Uh, my instructions are wrong. I'm going to go to the Arc Wiki to look this up, and I will be back. Okay, guys. After looking at the install guide, uh, my instructions are wrong. You Arc dash root, and then slash m and t. Make sure you do the forward slash. Now that we are into our system. 
we are going to set the time zone. Okay, once again, my install guide that I had gotten from the internet was wrong. Uh, you just remove the S right, or the F right there, and it should work. Okay, now I'm just going to go ahead and, and run the local gym. Make sure you add those two lines uh, to your local.
local.com file. Next, go ahead and go down to network. And set your interface. I'm going to set mine to Etho. Type WLAN0 if you are running a wireless internet connection. And then we are going to run the MK initiate CPIO. I will be back when it is complete. Okay, I am back, and now we are going to configure Grub. I will also include a link for Lilo slash Sys Linux if you want to go ahead and configure that. I will be configuring Grub as that's what most people use. And I'm going to run the grub mk config on the grub.cfg file. It's going, it's going to go ahead and search for your images and in its initiate rd images. That won't take but a second. As you can see, it just did that. Now we are going to install grub. Now right here you will be able to type what you want to use or what hard drive partition or hard drive you want to install grub on. If you want to install it on your first hard drive, type dev sda. On your second hard drive, type dev sdb. If you want to specify a partition, you can type one, two, or three. However, it's highly recommended that you just install it on your first hard drive or your hard drive that is booting off of, which would be dev sda. And go ahead and install it. Shouldn't take but a second. However, in this case, I still am going to pause the video and I will be back when this is complete. Okay, I'm back and as you can see, installation finished. No error reported. That is a good sign that Grub has been installed. Now you are going to want to press exit. And you are going to type umount mnt slash boot umount mnt and then type reboot now right here you will want to remove your 
installation device, if any. Um, in this case, I have a virtual machine, so I can I'll leave the disk in. Boot existing OS. And go ahead and wait five seconds for the grub to load and select the default uh, operating system. Or you can go ahead and press enter and skip through that grub. That is about it guys, if you want to go ahead and configure a password, type pass wd, I'm going to remove that from the virtual drive. Go ahead and type in your password. And it will update your password. That is all you have to do, and in the next video, I will be showing you how to install KDE on Arc Linux. That is about it, guys, and I will also be doing a KDE review, and until next time, I will see you later.